Good morning, Midway High School. Welcome back to the Midway Morning Show, sponsored by Raising Canes. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, followed by the moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now the Texas flag. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. And now for the moment of silence. And now for the sports segment with Xander Lee. Hey everyone, I'm Xander Lee and I welcome you to the first edition of Midway Field Study, a weekly Midway sports update. Let's kick things off by taking a look at the football team. Despite falling short in each of their first three games, the Panthers have shown flashes of excellence, especially in the well-fought 21-27 loss against Permian two weeks ago. The varsity squad is led by transfer quarterback Ty Brown. The reigning District 5A Division II MVP from Belton has maintained a high standard of play in his senior season. Midway is preparing for dominating intra-district play in the coming weeks, but tonight they have one more non-district game at Rockwall Heath. If you can make it, show out and be loud. Our girls volleyball team is currently 2-0 in district. Next week they play Coppers Cove away. Uh, go support our great seniors like Bailey Jones and Laura Lale. Cross country is off and running and has been delivering some impressive results. The varsity boys team, led by dynamic senior duo Jack Sterrett and Jack Reinhardt, has won each of their first three meets handily, including placing five finishers in the top 12 last Thursday at their home meet. The girls' squad has followed suit with strong performances and are led by sophomore Alexis Long. Both the boys' and the girls' water polo teams have performed swimmingly in the early stages of their seasons, with the girls having won nine games and the boys having won seven so far. Most recently, both teams defeated North Forney on Wednesday and take on Round Rock Westwood today. Tennis is beginning what looks to be another terrific season with an undefeated district play start. Recently, they have delivered a 19-0 sweep of the Temple Wildcats, highlighted by a comeback victory from senior Will Lutz. The Panthers have an overall record of 10-2 and, and are only just beginning their reign. We're so proud of how all of our Midway athletes have performed in the early stages of their season, and I will be back again next week with another Midway field study. It's that time again, Midway. Time to honor our valued teachers and faculty. We're off to Bennett and Xander with our Teacher of the Week. Are you guys ready for this? Yeah. Are you guys ready for this? Yeah. Okay, Teacher of the Week on me. One, two, three, Teacher of the Week. Let's freaking do this, bro. Wait for it. Hold on. One, two, three, Teacher of the Week. Teacher of the week! Teacher of the week! Teacher of the week! Teacher of the week! Miss Thomas is always so positive with staff and students. She makes walking the 800 hallway fun by playing music uh -huh. and interacting with all the students. Thank, Thank you, Miss Thomas. We appreciate you. you. Let's go! We're gonna go into the library, so we have to keep it down. Okay, let's let's do this. We're looking for Miss Steen. <laughs> Do you know where Miss Steen is? She's new. Is she right there? Mm -hmm. Is that her? Okay. <laughs> Miss Steen, yes. you have one faculty of the week. Congratulations. Uh, you are always so welcoming and friendly, um, and you're always willing to help in the hallways or with textbooks. So thank you so much, Ms. Dean. You're thank awesome. You. Appreciate you. Thank you. Do you want to add something cool to your college resume? Are you interested in being involved in important student matters? Do you need spirited midway hours? Look no further. Join MHS Student Council. Our first meeting is Monday, September 18th in the cafeteria from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. Stuco will discuss the homecoming dance and HOCO week in addition to the other volunteer efforts. Bring a friend with you and we will see you on Monday. If you are interested in learning about computer science, you should be a girl who codes. Girls Who Code was founded by a single mission to close the gender gap in technology. When girls learn to code, they create change in their communities. Contact Mrs. Jones with any questions. See you Wednesday.
Let's, Let's make, make it, it a great, great day, day Midway. Midway.